So, just the idea of you aging? No, 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 anyone. Just that it exists as this inevitable reality waiting for us. The white crust at the corner of your mouth, your muscles turning into those deflated stretch Armstrongs. But it's not like a real phobia, right? Right, like are you are you horror scared? Or are you just grossed out? Like if I took you to a senior center spin class. I would shriek, I would shriek like a baby. That was not so bad. I assumed you'd hit one of them. Ugh. And touch their translucent skin? Never. Which is why Peter Pan is the best Disney movie, incidentally. Oh yeah, all the good messages. Uh, never grow up. Mild to moderate racism towards Native Americans and fairies are jealous bitches. And pedophilia is cool. Pedophilia is cool. Wilbur, 2014. No! In Peter Pan! It's just a pedophile slash fic that society agreed to turn into a family classic anyway. Go on. You can fly, you can fly, you can fly, you can fly, you can fly. J.M. Barry, the Peter Pan guy, do you guys know anything about him? I do. He's Johnny Depp. No, that's just Hollywood's version. You should take a look at the dude's Wikipedia. It reads like the beginning of Hard Candy. That's a movie. You don't read movies. Shut up. You know nothing about me. He is not a whimsical, genderless pixie. He's a perv. And a, a mistranslated perv at that. Uh, you know how in the movies, they're like, oh, to get to Neverland, just second star on the right, straight, straight on until morning. morning. That's in the books. That's like nautically. That's how they, they use stars for directions. They're like, fly that way. They didn't mean fly literally into space. <laughs> See, I know stuff about stuff. It's not the pedophile thing. Wait, so in the book, Neverland is a place on Earth, like an island, and there are already Native Americans living there, and then flying European kids and pirates just come inhabit the island? F***ing A, man! Can the tribes find peace nowhere? See? There you go. And this is the story that we keep remaking and shoving down our kids' throats. Okay, we get it. You want to talk about pedophilia? Can someone please Barry's change Barry's brother the... was his mom's favorite, but he died when they were ice skating when they were kids. So Barry's mom made him dress up like his brother and act like he was him. Barry said she loved his brother more because he remained forever a child. All of this changes nothing about the fact that I am scared of old people, and I would prefer not to slowly turn into one like the sh Animorph. That's why I like Peter Pan. You're not gonna scare me away from this one. Hey, did you know that the kids in Peter Pan are based on real kids that Barry knew? This random family, the Davies, he met them in a park. And this was, meanwhile, while he's married to a woman who said that he never once tried to have sex with her in their entire lives. Well, that's not so weird. It's Victorian times. Probably no one was having sex. They probably used a crankable turkey baster to transfer the materials. Is there a place where they still do that that I can get to? Which star? Anyway, these kids, the Llewellyn Davies, he wrote a bunch of stories about them, not just Peter Pan. And the first story that he wrote about them is called The Little White Bird. And it's about him stripping the Llewellyn Davies baby naked and getting into a crib with him. All right, well, that's weirder. I gotta say, there is an amazing inside Llewellyn Davis joke to make right here, but I'm too classy. Eventually, he adopts the little LDs when their father dies and then invents Peter Pan and Neverland. Neverland being a place where ripe little boys never grow up and Peter Pan being named after the kid word for penis plus a mythological goat-legged god of mischievous and sneaky sex. Uh, a dog! Ah, uh, right, okay, Jesus, calm down. Very convincing. Well argued. I just like to point out how deep down inside everyone's a monster. It's kind of my thing. Is he a pedophile, though? Do we know? Is that on record? Was he ever caught? Has history decided? I feel like I should know that. I usually, I usually know what history has decided. No, not really. No, I mean there wasn't like, like a trial or anything. Although it must have come up because the Davies kids felt the need to refute it. The youngest one described him as an innocent and said there was no way he could have been a pedophile because he never experienced a stirring in the undergrowth. Gross for anyone, man, woman, or child. See, you just don't even say the child part of that sentence. When you say in the boner sentence, you just skip child. Oh, it's the Michael Jackson defense. You can't be a pedophile if you're just a harmless old asexual. Yeah, I had no idea it was such a time-honored tradition. MJ was citing precedent. His whole trial was probably just a little white bird homage. Well, <laughs> shit, I mean, his, he named his home Neverland. It's not like he was trying to hide it or anything. Yeah, Neverland. And he's like Peter Pan. Oh my god, I'm just getting that. How dumb am I? Okay, okay, we gotta do this right. Uh, so what, how do we do this? Someone goes first and then we just take turns? Forever? Oh, me please, 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 I have the perfect one. Mine comes in the form of an insulting impression. Ooh. Come on, guys. Shut up! This isn't about you.
Hello, thank you so much for watching After Hours. We are the guys from that show. I am Daniel O'Brien. I'm Soren Bowie. And we would like to come to South by Southwest in Austin, Texas, 2015, and do a live After Hours panel for you, the people of Austin. But we need your help. We need you to click on the link below this and vote for us to come to a panel there so that we can do an After Hours live in front of you. Yeah, we're going to tell you how the show is made. We're going to read live a never-before-released episode of the show. We'll do some signings. We'll do some singing. It'll be great. Click that link. Give us a thumbs up. And we... We'll come to Hug your you. town!